Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We've had three straight 93 degree high days yesterday, Monday, and Sunday in Evansville at the airport. It was even hotter than that yesterday in Owensboro. Clouds are helping us out, keeping the temperature down a little bit. Of course, the humidity is not down at all. It's right up around 70 on that dew point where it has been throughout the week and even over the weekend, too. That's going to improve, though, as we head toward the weekend. Of course, it's a big holiday weekend, too, with the 4th of July. Couldn't ask for a whole lot better weather than what we're going to get. Paying the price today, but it's really not much of a price to pay if you need the rain. We've got a chance today and tomorrow. The price we could pay is an isolated damaging wind uh, threat that we have out there, like we had yesterday. A few gusts might kick up to about 60 miles an hour with some of these thunderstorms as they rumble on through. Right now, things pretty quiet, though, as we head toward the noontime hour. We're looking out toward the east side of Evansville. Of course, that's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at Deaconess Gateway. And looking at downtown Owensboro, we had a beautiful start to the day today. Uh, things are looking a little grayer now. And, of course, we've got the rust-colored bridges and the gray sky overhead. A look from Ellis Park at the twin bridges there. And, of course, the traffic is rolling. Love to see that. Look at all those semis heading southbound, man, <laughs> on the strip. That's where they're going to be soon enough. But we get, if we st stayed here long enough, we'd see those semis coming down. Well, they'd probably get stopped at a light-up at Watson Lane first anyway. But anyway, a little bit of traffic out there, and it's moving. And that is our Heads Construction camera in the backyard. 84 degrees right now with a dew point of 70. We've got a west wind at 7. We're going to see a west and southwest wind, and it's going to be at around 5 to 10 miles an hour today. Mid-80s for the most part, 81 in Jasper, though. It's a little bit cooler up to the northeast, 78 Lagodi, but 83 Owensboro, Henderson, also at 83 Carmi, and Morganfield checking in with 84 degrees. Check this out from last night. Had those thunderstorms across parts of the tri-state. Owensboro got a pretty good show, even though the heavier rain was just outside of Owensboro. You could see that lightning bolt in Stanley to the west of Owensboro. Great shot there by Jared Carter. Another good Owensboro lightning strike there. Look at that in downtown Owensboro. Steve Wilkerson got that shot. Wow, that's quite a bolt. Pretty impressive. Got another one to show you here in a minute. But right now we got to look at live first warning Doppler radar. We have seen a little bit of lightning out there already on our lightning tracker. Nothing to track lightning-wise right now. And very little rain to track. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We're seeing what looks to be a few showers in Pike County. We had a few showers in Dubois County, kind of lift to the northeast toward Paoli and then fizzle out. So not much action going on. We haven't seen anything south of 64, although there are catching a few showers down around Nashville. But you can see all the action up around Indianapolis, St. Louis, along the I-70 corridor. But here's what it looks like on Future Tracker. It is indicating more showers and thunderstorms firing up today. And they're going to be scattered at first, becoming a little more widespread, though, as we head into the nighttime hours. Check this out. The overnight hours, you got plenty of rain kind of working their way through the tri-state. Even though it may fizzle out a little bit, we're still talking about plenty of rain to start the day on Thursday, throughout the day on Thursday, and we're going to be noticing a frontal boundary push in from the north to the south over the course of the day. A few lingering showers in the evening, but most of the rain should be had uh, by the end of the day. And then we clear out overnight, and we are looking fantastic for Friday and for the rest of the week. So I love what I see in the weekend forecast. We do have that isolated severe threat, though, today, a marginal risk for damaging winds. Really don't see a tornado threat or a large hail threat out there. High today is going to be in the upper 80s. Clouds, some sunshine, too, but certainly more clouds in play. And that's what's going to keep that temperature out of the 90s. For most of us, might see a stray 90-degree temperature, too. Of course, plenty humid out there. That's not changing for now, but it will be changing for later. Uh, Friday is going to be a lot less humid, and so it will be also Saturday and Sunday. Not much of a wind, except where we do see these thunderstorms. We could see an isolated wind gust up around 60 miles an hour. Uh, 88 degrees for a high today, 80 tomorrow. So we're already starting to cool off tomorrow, even though it's still going to be humid out there. It will be a little cooler, and still a good chance of rain throughout the day on Thursday. Looking great for Friday, Friday after 5, whatever else you have going on this weekend. 82 degrees for a high. For a high, the average high is up around 90, 83 on Saturday, so looking just as good. And look at that morning low on Saturday, 60 degrees. That's nice and low. Some locations will be dipping down into the upper 50s. 61 on Sunday as for the 4th, and we've got 87 degrees for a high during the day. But by the fireworks shows at around 9 o'clock, temperatures are going to be down into the upper 70s, so looking good then. Very pleasant out there with that low humidity. It will be warming up, though, on Monday and Tuesday to around 90 degrees, but it really isn't going to be all that humid out there. So love that. Love this wow. wickedly. Oh, cool wow. shot. My call oh, got wow. this from Lewisport. You know it's Lewisport because you see the water tower right there. Yes, and you do. And right beside that water tower in the sky, what a wicked bolt of lightning he caught. Mike gets a lot of good lightning shots out there, so he not, got another good one last That's night. That's impressive. Very impressive. And he'll impressive. have some chances tonight, too, if he gets out late enough with some more lightning in play. So, good deal. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles. Ron's going to cook in a few minutes. Stick around. You don't want to miss that.